When you create a bootable USB drive with Windows or Linux, it is always recommended to test it to see if it is bootable before trying it on the main PC or client, there can be many such situations. It's just a shame when you have everything prepared and want to get the job done, it may not start due to a technical problem. You can always check the bootable USB drive by restarting the computer and enabling the necessary BIOS settings, for many novice users this is not an easy task, and it is not always convenient to reboot, you want a quick solution within your session in the operating system. Fortunately, there are such options and I will show in a short video cycle how to implement it. In the first video, we will use the free Win setup from USB Utility, through which I previously created a bootable USB flash drive, who is interested in the link in the upper right corner, where I also told you where to download it. As a test, I have a bootable Windows 11 flash drive, it has the letter E. Run in administrator mode Win setup from USB. In the upper area, you should see the determined flash drive, if there are several of them, then there will be a choice. Next, you need to check the test in QEMU checkbox, which will activate the Go button. An emulator window will open, where your flash drive will start loading, if there are problems on it, you will immediately see them. The bootloader screen can be different, it all depends on the program in which you created it. For example, in my example, a boot menu appeared, created through the same Win setup from USB utility. I choose the first item, Boot Windows. In my case, the Windows Boot Manager menu appears, which already says that the bootable flash drive is working. I select the item with Windows 11, as a result, Windows P starts downloading with a standard installation wizard. Mission accomplished. In the next video, I will show another great utility. Thank you for watching the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and put your thumbs up. When you create a bootable USB drive with Windows or Linux, it is always recommended to test it to see if it is bootable before trying it on the main PC or client, there can be many such situations. It's just a shame when you have everything prepared and want to get the job done, it may not start due to a technical problem. You can always check the bootable USB drive by restarting the computer and enabling the necessary BIOS settings, for many novice users this is not an easy task, and it is not always convenient to reboot, you want a quick solution within your session in the operating system. Fortunately, there are such options and I will show in a short video cycle how to implement it. In the second video, we will use the free mobile live CD utility, through which I previously created a bootable USB flash drive, who is interested in the link in the upper right corner, where I also told you where to download it. As a test, I have a bootable Windows 11 flash drive, it has the letter E. Run in administrator mode mobile if CD. To test a bootable USB flash drive, select start directly from bootable USB drive and press the run the lib USB button. Select the desired drive letter, in my case it is the letter E. Next a pop-up window will appear with the message would you like to create a hard disk image for your virtual machine? Say no, it's not necessary. An emulator window will open, where your flash drive will start loading, if there are problems on it, you will immediately see them. The bootloader screen can be different, it all depends on the program in which you created it. For example, in my example, a boot menu appeared, created through the same mobile live CD utility. I choose the first item, boot windows. In my case, the Windows Boot Manager menu appears, which already says that the bootable flash drive is working. I select the item with Windows 11, as a result, Windows P starts downloading with a standard installation wizard. Mission accomplished. In the next video, I will show another great utility. Thank you for watching the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and put your thumbs up.
Good afternoon. Dear guests and subscribers of the channel, we continue to study utilities for testing bootable flash drives. This is the third video in this series. In today's video, we will touch on working with the QEMU Simple Boot utility. QEMU Simple Boot is a small, free and portable utility designed to test different boot images without using different virtual machines. With its help, you can check the downloaded images of boot disks for operability or such images you have created. The utility is useful primarily for checking various live CDs, you can download QEMU Simple Boot below, using the link in the description. Let's open the utility. We right-click on it and select Run in Administrator mode so that there are no access errors. The interface is very simple, in the program window, you can set the amount of RAM allocated to the virtual machine, up to 1GB, select an image, ISO, IMA, or select a CD slash DVD drive with a disk, and also select a local hard disk. Although when choosing the latter, the program will honestly warn that the disk is being used and it is not safe. It uses the QEMU Virtual Machine Emulator, which is rather limited in functions. But, nevertheless, it copes well with its main task, checking images for operability. That is, in order to quickly check some live CD or a converted disk with Windows, for example, it is not necessary to install VMware or VirtualBox, just drag the ISO image into the program window with the mouse and check it. I always set the maximum RAM size so that there are no problems. The test will be a flash drive with Windows 11, which has the letter E. You also have the option to change the app's language, reset settings, and visit the project's homepage. Let's test the performance of my bootable media, to do this, click on the start button. As a result, a new window will open, where the download will be simulated. We see that there is a grub bootloader on the flash drive, which indicates its performance. Select the first item with Windows. All I see is the usual Windows 11 boot window. We see the standard slider when loading WIMP. Congratulations, we have checked our bootable flash drive and it is working for us. Thank you for watching the video to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Good afternoon. Dear guests and subscribers of the channel, we continue to study utilities for testing bootable flash drives. This is the fourth video in this series. In today's video, we will touch on working with the QEMU Boot Tester Utility. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can download QEMU Boot Tester from the link in the description of this video. To launch QEMU Boot Tester, right-click on the shortcut and select as administrator so that there are no access problems. The interface is very simple, in the program window, you can set the amount of RAM allocated to the virtual machine, up to 16GB, select an image, ISO, IMA, or select a CD slash DVD drive with a disk, and also select a local hard disk. It uses the QEMU Virtual Machine Emulator, which is rather limited in functions. But, nevertheless, it copes well with its main task, checking images for operability. That is, in order to quickly check some live CD or a converted disk with Windows, for example, it is not necessary to install VMware or VirtualBox, just drag the ISO image into the program window with the mouse and check it. The utility has the ability to select the boot mode, EFI 64, EFI 32, Legacy BIOS. As a test, I have a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11. I will test the Legacy BIOS mode, and I will allocate 1024 megabytes of RAM for QEMU boot tester, this is enough. After all the preparatory values, just press run QEMU. Boot emulation from this flash drive will start. The utility saw that it was bootable and had a grub bootloader on it. Since the flash drive is with a bootable Windows distribution, I see the Wint menu that is familiar to me, I will select Windows 11 and the download will begin in the form of a slider. 
flash drive is fine. Thank you for watching, I hope it was helpful. In the fifth video, I will show another utility. Good afternoon. Dear guests and subscribers of the channel, we continue to study utilities for testing bootable flash drives. This is the fifth video in this series. In today's video, we will touch on working with the bootable USB test utility. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can download bootable USB test from the link in the description of this video. As an experimental flash drive, I have a 16GB medium. We launch bootable USB test in administrator mode, this utility has a minimalistic interface that allows you to test HDD, USB, ISO, IMA media. I always recommend dedicating at least 1GB of RAM for emulation. You do not need to create a temporary virtual disk for testing purposes. To start testing, just click start. You will see a window with emulation of loading your flash drive. As you can see, the utility has determined that there is a grub bootloader on the flash drive. Select the first item with Windows. After a couple of seconds, you can see the windshell prompting you to boot from Windows 11, this already tells you that your flash drive is in working order. If you have time, you can wait for the slider to finish loading. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to your comments with suggestions or questions. Good afternoon. Dear guests and subscribers of the channel, we continue to study utilities for testing bootable flash drives. This is the sixth video in this series. In today's video, we will touch on the work with the Ultimate Boot USB Utility. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can download Ultimate Boot USB from the link in the description of this video. As a test flash drive, I have 16GB media. Run Ultimate Boot USB in administrator mode, this utility has a minimalistic interface that allows you to test HDD, USB, ISO media. We select the desired letter of the tested media, the utility, unfortunately, does not allow you to allocate more memory, but 512 megabytes will be enough. To start testing, press the Tesser USB button. As you can see, the utility has determined that there is a grub bootloader on the flash drive. Select the first item with Windows. After a couple of seconds, you can see the windshell prompting you to boot from Windows 11, this already tells you that your flash drive is in working order. If you saw an error with this status, then there simply wasn't enough RAM, but the flash drive is fully functional, the bootloader works on it.